Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC Mom Who Loves Science, and today I'm going to bring you CC Cycle 2, Week 13, Hands-On Science Experiments. So, we're in our second semester of Cycle 2 now, and we're back in our Van Cleves book for the next six weeks. And so today we have two experiments, that is 161, Spoonbill, Spoonbell, and 162, Humming Glass. And those are on page 90 in your Van Cleves book. So these are going to be, we're going to be learning about sound and vibrations and some good vocabulary uh, for those. So I'll start with 161 Spoon Bell. And this one um, is a lot of fun. And you can demonstrate this as a tutor and then um, have the students try it as well. So I think this is a really easy one that um, the students can do themselves and, and it's really fun to see their expressions um, when they hear the sound um, from the experiment. So this one's a lot of fun. So all you need for this one um, is a metal spoon and some string and maybe at least 30 inches of string. You want it long enough that it, it's going to hang. Um, you're going to wrap the two ends around your fingers and then put your fingers in your ears. So you want the string long enough that it will hang and not, you know, be too too short. Um, so you want the spoon to be in the middle of your string and just tie a knot around the middle of the spoon. So you can have more than one of these. Um, if you have, you wanna have uh, pairs of students do it together or have a spoon per student, that'd be great too. So um, we're gonna determine what makes a sound loud or soft. And you can ask some questions, okay, what is sound? Do they know what sound is and how do, what is it that we're hearing? And um, are some sounds loud? Are some sounds soft? And why is that? And what do we call that? So that's what we're going to learn about today. Um, so for the experiment, like I showed, you're going to wrap the ends of the string evenly around your two index fingers and so you have the spoon hanging evenly in the middle and then you're going to put um, your fingers in your ears the fingers that are attached to the string and then you're going to lean over and tap it tap the spoon on the edge of a table or a chair or even the wall so you're going to tap it softly and tap it harder So it's really cool. You can probably hear it on the video, but it's really cool to hear it through your ears. It sounds like a church bell. And you can notice a difference when you tap the spoon softly against the table versus tapping it um, more hard against the table. You could tell there's a difference in the loudness. And so what we're gonna talk about is, okay, what what is it, what is that called? And so I have uh, Van Cleves, Science scripts here. She has some great question ideas and some discussion points, and she also has a graph of a wave here. So, sound is made from vibration, and a vibration, all a vibration is, is a back and forth movement. And so, the molecules in the spoon, when we hit it against the table, it makes the molecules in the spoon vibrate back and forth. When we hit the spoon softly, they vibrate back and forth um, with less movement. And when we hit it harder, we have more vibration going on. And so that difference is like the difference in these waves here. So when we do it softly, we have a low peak to our wave. And when we hit it harder, we have a lot more movement, and so that peak of the wave is higher. And that is called amplitude. So that's a good vocabulary word, half and repeat, amplitude. So amplitude is just how loud or how soft something is. And so one, one thing you can do is like, um, like low amplitude, a really quiet voice, and have them repeat low amplitude. You do high amplitude and say it in a loud voice. So. This is a really fun experiment and just have them try it different ways 
hitting it softly and hitting it harder and see what the difference is. So um, the way that we hear it through the string is those molecules in the spoon are vibrating back and forth and that vibration travels down the spoon kind of like you think of like dominoes if you have a row of dominoes standing up you knock one over that just hits the next ones in the row so it's these molecules um, vibrate against each other and the movement travels through the strings through your fingers and into your ears and our eardrums have a membrane it's like a drum and when those waves hit it those membranes and our eardrums vibrate as well and that's what our ears interpret as sound that's what our brain interprets as sound that movement back and forth of that vibration and so we can talk about how these waves this movement can travel through solids like the spoon it can travel through liquid like water it can travel through gas like air but say in space when there where there is no air and there's not hardly any molecules like they're very far apart but there is no sound um, in space and so um, she kind of gives a demonstration of like how close molecules are together in a solid they're a little bit farther apart in the liquid and they're a lot farther apart in a gas so sound travels really well through a solid they'll go through it faster so those are just some talking points this is a really fun and easy experiment um, just where we're starting to learn about some properties of sound so this experiment is all about amplitude and for our next experiment this one can either be a tutor demonstration or uh, we've had students um, do it as well afterwards so you'll need um, a glass a stemmed glass and the thinner, for the thinner glass, um, the better, the easier it is to get a sound. And you'll need um, like a little cup with some uh, distilled vinegar in it. And then the Van Cleef's Guide recommends washing your hands really well before this experiment. And that's just to get um, the oils off of our hands because that can kind of keep the glass from making a sound. So we're going to be talking more about sound and vibration with this one and I'm going to move this down a little bit so you can see okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my finger I'm going to hold my glass at the bottom I'm not going to hold the stem I'm going to hold it at the bottom and I'm going to dip my finger in the vinegar and then I'm going to rub firmly um, but smoothly over the top of my glass. You can hear the humming sound. So what we're doing is we're, our finger is creating friction on the top of the glass. We're rubbing against those molecules and creating a vibration in the glass itself. So those molecules in the glass start moving and that creates a sound a wave which we talked about which makes a sound that we that our brains interpret and so um, you can try and test and see if you go faster or slower if it changes how the sound is sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't but try and see, you know, if you go slowly around the glass, if it makes a lower sound. And if you go faster around the rim of the glass, if it sounds higher. And so another vocabulary we're going to talk about today is the frequency of the wave. And so Van Cleese um, has a little demonstra uh, a little graph of frequency. So it's basically how many waves pass by in a certain amount of time so if you have you know just one complete wave versus you know one two three that's going to give you a different frequency and that's basically the pitch whether it's a high or a low sound so you can have them you know we did the low amplitude and high amplitude where soft and loud 
that was our soft and loud is amplitude. Our frequency is pitch, so that would be like low frequency and high frequency. So you're not really changing the loudness, but you can go from like a low sound to a high sound, like a high pitch, like a squeaky mouse sound. And they can have fun uh, with that remembering frequency versus, um, you know, high frequency and low frequency. So that's kind of a fun way to remember that. Um, so that can be a tutor demonstration or you could have the students come up and take turns and try it. You could do this experiment first and have the students um, wash their hands before science and do the glass first and then do the, the spoon bell one. Um, this kind of whatever works um, for your class. But this is a really fun one and we're just learning about sound and the different properties of sound and that sound is basically those vibrating molecules and it acts like a wave. And depending on how um, high your wave is, that's your amplitude, and how fast your wave is, that's your frequency. So have fun with this experiment and I'll see you guys soon.